One of the grad courses I teach is Tectonic Evolution of the Cordillera. And during the fall 2019 semester, the class and I took a week-long field trip to the Ruby Mountains in Nevada. The Ruby Mountains are well known in the tectonics community because they are one of the most well-studied metamorphic core complexes in the North American Cordillera and Orogenic System. Like most core complexes, the Rubies have a rich extensional history and expose spectacular myelinitic fabrics. But on this trip, we are focused on evidence for contractional deformation. Middle to lower crustal rocks are exposed in the interior of the complex as a series of recumbently folded naps that form during the late Cretaceous severe erosion. These structures are the down dip and ductly deformed deep crustal equivalents of the severe thrust belt that outcrops in western Wyoming. The naps are one line of evidence for thick crust that may have isostatically supported a high elevation orogenic plateau in the Cordier and Hinchlet, called the Nevada Plano because of its genetic and physiographic similarity to the modern Altiplano in the Andes. Radiogenic heating, relaxation of downward displaced isotherms, and upward advection of heat from increased erosion are all consequences of crustal thickening and caused or at least contributed to partial melting of the crust as evidenced by migmatites and pervasive pegmatitic muscovite and garnet bearing leucogram. The presence of even small degrees of partial melt drastically reduces the overall strength of the crust and may have contributed to the extensional collapse of the Nevada Plano and formation of the core complex itself. The Ruby Mountains are one of the most beautiful ranges in the Great Basin and one of the most tectonically interesting as well. 